bigger one should be bigger. Uh, I will say that this one is what would happen. What is the difference between the two scenarios, the two different points of view? Physically, imagine you're on the rocket ship and imagine you are on Earth simultaneously, you and your identical twin, your doppelganger. Well, what physically would the person on the rocket ship experience and the person on the Earth experience? One person on Earth experiences nothing but time. Wait, wait, I, you said one of them's not moving? Or, and what'd you say? Well, if you're on Earth, nothing's happening. You're just there waiting time out. And on the rocket ship? Are you? So you're saying that you can't look at it from this point of view? That Jack's analogy of you're sitting in the car and everything's zipping past you while you're sitting still is a fallacy? Yep. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> you're not seeing reality when you're in a car. Well. Well, hold on now. Because, like, if, if you're on Earth, yeah, and your weight is is because the due to the acceleration of gravity is some number because okay. of that. If you are in space going, well, does can can going a certain speed close to the speed of light affect your mass? Yes. Well, from someone's point of view. Oh shit. Okay. Well. From the Earth's point of view, the people on the rocket ship, mass has increased greatly. Uh, from the rocket's point of view, the people on Earth's mass has increased greatly. Oh, well, I'm going to take a bet that it's the people on the rocket ship's mass that is going to increase greatly because of their increased speed. Well, well, then you can argue it, but you have any tangent. Is it because deep on Earth, even if Earth moves, they're not going to feel it? Because Earth is so big? And that is the big difference. At the turnaround point, the rocket has to turn around. Here, the Earth appears to turn around, but it's not actually turning around. And over here, the rocket has to accelerate. The physics term accelerate. It has to accelerate in order to go in the opposite direction. Whereas here on Earth, you actually are not going to feel any turnaround. So it breaks down in the fact that special relativity assumes no acceleration. But when you bring in acceleration, then it does matter because you're physically going to feel something on the rocket ship that you're not going to feel on Earth. And so that's why this falls apart. But until the turnaround point, so if you're looking at just, just shy of half the journey, both points of view are equally valid. We are assuming that the rocket ship is already traveling at that speed when it passes by Earth, so I'm not dealing with the rocket starts on Earth and then blasts off. This is known as the twin paradox, but the resolution is the fact that the situations are indeed different by because once an accelerated reference frame. All right. If your nines are not fine, they're not blown yet. Yes, it is. Let's do the next one. Another thought experiment. Come on. I have a detector smack dab in the middle. When the car gets to a certain point, so I got an observer over here who is watching this, and when the detector is 
perfectly in line with the shortest distance from the person to the track, from the observer to the track. What he's going to see is that there's going to be a flash going off. So when the train car is here, there's going to be a flash, and he's going to see those flashes at the exact same time. Now, when they flash, light is going to then move towards the detector. From his point of view, because the train is moving that way in the same as the light from the right is coming at it, he would say that this light is going to be green when it hits. It's going to hit, the detector's going to flash, it's green if the right light gets there first. The light is going to be red if the light gets there at the same time to the detector or left gets there first. All right, uh, let's get the names. Sue and Lou. They can join twins. So, but by the right leg gets there first, meaning the light on the right side of the train will reach him first or the detector? The detector first. And then what he observes, he observes that the lights go off at the same time. Yeah. So he observes the lights go off at the same time and then predicts that the light will be green because they, these go off at the same time and the car is moving this way, the train car is moving that way, the light from the right will hit it first. Okay. Because that light goes off and that sensor is still moving towards it while the light is coming. Yes. And it's going away from the other light. Um, Sorry, that's Lou's prediction. Sue's prediction is that, well, this is all at rest relative to me. The lights go off at the same time, the light should get to the detector at the same time. And so Sue predicts it's going to be red. Which one's wrong? It will either be green or red. The train's going to stop, the light's still lit, you can see it. So, I will tell you, Lou is right. What is wrong with Sue's thinking? Well, how fast is the car going? Does it matter? Uh, it doesn't matter, but uh, under the speed of light. Is it because she's also at risk, physically? At risk? Rest. At rest? Well, like she's at rest relative to the two things that are going to flash. Yeah. Well, as soon as... What's wrong with her thing is, as soon as the light shines, it's no longer connected to the rest of the system. It's not at rest with it. Yeah, but if I have two things go off at the exact same time to towards the detector that is at rest relative to me, is there some reason why one light would get there before the other one does? Yes. Do you know the reason? Are you speculating? Well, we we it's, I think it's similar to when we so when we were talking about the um, how we have this box here, the guy inside it, this box here, this box here is going up, and the light is going to hit it and hurt. Well, I think it's the same thing along these lines with it being that. This, the, the top object, it's moving, but like from Lou's perspective, but from Sue's perspective, it's still not moving, but it's still gonna have that same effect from the light, despite it not moving. That there's gonna be a time dilation? That, oh no, wait, you're talking basically, general relativity stuff. Basically, like, so not following your, your reasoning there. I, I will say, what we do know is that Lou sees the two things flash at the same time. Lou's, I thought that 
the suit. Blue, when the train gets here, these flash at the same time. Blue has a detector, it goes boom. He, he detects that they go off at the exact same time. Okay. That they flash at the same time. The light from here gets to the detector first. Because it's moving and it's going to hit it first. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Sue says it's all at rest to me. If they go off at the same time, they should get to the lights should get to the synth detector at the same time. The light will, the detector will glow red. Well, what if the green light's just passing? <laughs> um, uh, let's, let's assume that uh, green and red lights go at the exact same speed. Yeah. Um, is it because? The cart is moving on the ground, like it's... That's not moving. Well, nothing's moving. Wait, someone. Well, she's saying everything's at rest, but the ground's not at rest. The light. Uh, they take it from a train car and it's a rocket ship going through space. I mean, it's... Nothing around except for blue, who's sort of blue. Oh, so then, from yeah, the ground is not at rest relative to Sue. Lou is not at rest. So whatever Sue is traveling this way at some speed, Sue says Lou's traveling that way at some speed. So who is right again? Pardon? Who is right? Blue is right. Blue is right. And it will be green. The one that's green. Yep. The detector will be green. Well, isn't it just what you said, Lou said? Like, the car is traveling in the opposite direction of the light, so the light will get to it faster because it's getting to the light as well. But what's wrong with Sue's reasoning? Because the two flash bots, or flash whatever that's going to flash, they are at rest relative to her. The detector is at rest relative to her. Well, she's not taking into account that the fact that the light isn't at rest relative to her. Well, she is, because if the two sources are at rest relative to her and they flash at the same time, then Wouldn't it? Wouldn't why it? would the light not be traveling? And the light travels at the same speed regardless of the, wouldn't the observer. Be, wouldn't it be because of Blue's existence? <laughs> oh, yeah. How dare you. <laughs> because in order for, the, for them to flash, it has to come across this... The car has to come across this uh, this point in time where it's complete lines up, and so it's or Sue is just assuming that Lou's going to be moving across, and then all of a sudden Lou lines up with with me, boom, they they flash at the same time. But that has no effect of the light moving at the same time. Will I buy again? I don't know if I can get it. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I will say that you're failing to take the leap. There's an assumption. I've been very careful, trying to be very careful with my wording. There's an assumption that some of you are making that is invalid. And I've presented it so that I'm assuming that you will make the bad assumption. But there's a fundamental, fundamental concept here. Her, I said bad, blind. <laughs> the base of She's got a color, red green color blindness. <laughs> it is not that. Wait, does it turn green from your perspective? Well, when the train car stops, the the decker will be green. Time. I was gonna say. After the time afterwards, so the light goes off, and then a very small amount of time while the light is traveling towards the detector, the car is still moving, and so it's still from Lou's point of view. Not Sue's, even though she's here, the light's going this way, and the, the car and the detector are still going towards the light. I don't think they're operating at the same time. Going. What's not at the same time? 
the the light going off. Or you or like when we had the um the box moving, it's flashing a light. From the box perspective it's going up and down. Right. From the observer's perspective it's going like that. Right. So this their speed was the same. What was different was the time it took for it to for this to happen versus this to happen. So okay. then it just took from Lou's perspective it was that it took less time it took less time for the green light to hit the detector than from Sue's perspective and from Sue's perspective she had only seen it from the perspective of the like up and down or from here just so what that would mean is the time it takes for the light to get to the detector would be different yes okay I'm, I'm accepting that but I, I will say you, you hit upon some key words, but then went in the wrong direction. All right, imagine this. We have a detector in the middle of the room. I have two lights over here that are gonna, two things that'll flash and they will come and they will get to the detector. From your point of view, if this light gets there first, the detector will glow green. If this side or if it's a tie gets there first, it'll glow red. If the light, the detector glows green. What had to have been the situation? How on earth, if I have middle of the room, two lights are going to flash? This, this side would hit first. Say it again? The, um, the detector would hit the, the, that first. That, that detector would hit that? Yeah. How? How could that detector, how could the light from that detector, sorry, how could the light from that flash Hit the detector first before that one does. The room is moving. It's at rest relative to us. Let's assume flat Earth. We are not moving. That um, the Earth is moving relative to us. Don't worry about the Earth moving. Time, the time it takes for that to move, for that to the the time for the flash to hit this is not the same. The, the time it's smack dab in the middle. The time it takes for the light to get from the flash to the detector is the same. Is the distance the same? Distance is the same. Light contraction? Is that due to light contraction? No. It depends on who's looking at it, I guess. Or does that more involve? Well, Sue versus Lou, but yeah. in terms of us, we're all at rest relative to this, so no, it doesn't depend on. <laughs> I'm liking Ibrahim's interpretation that green's faster than red. Yeah. All right. I'm still trying to go back to like the that thing you drew on the board where it's like this. And this. All right. Let's do a different point of view. All right. For the sake of this thought experiment, Ibrahim and Ethan live the same distance from the school. Takes the exact same amount of time to get to school. Ibrahim gets here first. He goes fast. Just... Takes the exact same amount of time. Wait. I existed before Ethan. <laughs> Wait, so he takes the same. Did we live the same distance? Takes the same amount of time to get to school, but Ibrahim got here first. Then he, he left earlier. Yes. You were close. Oh. From Sue's point of view, they do not go off at the same time. That's why whenever I did that, I threw the word if in there. From Sue's point of view, the right flash goes off first, and then the less left flash goes off. From Lou's point of view, the two flashes are, simulta are simultaneous. From Sue's point of view, they are not. It all goes back to the speed of light being constant. So because she's at rest with the thing, and we're moving 
some speed. The right light is just... Now, when you say go off at a different time, could it be like a, the tiniest bit of time? It's like non-noticeable by us. Well, I mean, it's a thought experiment, so we're talking... Very small amount of time. Nanoseconds. Yeah. Yeah. But in actuality, everywhere this the green light would go off after one on the right would be green. But but the loose point of view, they do go off at identical times. Yeah. Exact same time, down to whatever picoseconds. Mm -hmm. Loose point of view, they do not. That, that's the big, the big takeaway from this is the fact that just because two things happen simultaneously in one reference frame, they do not necessarily happen simultaneously in another reference frame. So what about Su moving makes them go off at different times? It's the fact that Su is not moving the same speed as Lu is. So that, all right. So where are we? always a question every semester of do I derive this next bit or not? I say we should. Okay, let me do a quick scan. I don't think there's calculus in this. But. There's not calculus in this. Oh, there's that temptation. But I know the reaction to some students when I, if I did it. Words would be complete boredom, disgust, and dismay. Who can ever get bored of a derivation of something so interesting? I know, exactly. That's why, you know, that's convinced me. Can you do the 30 for There are videos. Uh, I, I'm going to do a, a hand wave through it. Um, I'm going to derive some stuff using Galilean relativity and then do a hand wave into special relativity. Was there a question on the floor that I, it seems like I've ignored? Yeah. 